Watson really is taking a special interest in this guy here. Unless he's just given us some privacy while we speak to our brother. Well, Holmes' brother. Now, Watson, the means to probe Mycroft's inner sanctum are in hand. I'd rather not probe his inner sanctum, thank you very much. Hello, brother. You're keeping well, I hope? Yes. Elephant ears, too inquisitive by heart. Imbecilic, treacherous louts! No, uh, those fools are playing at what? What? Oh, where are you, Sherlock? Calm yourself, Mycroft. I'm right here. Tell me why you summoned us to the Diogenes. No, no, no! It's safe. Joburg chaps, first rate, who died but was not born. That's too obscure. What's safe? My brain isn't everything it might be, Mycroft. Nor is yours, it seems. What is it, Mycroft? What do you have for me? Where do you have it? Where's the heart? Shush, shush. Here's the secret. Sahara has none. Better than cursing the darkness. Come again? Mm, I'm so... Tired. Now I lay me down to sleep. Mycroft, do you recall Clifford, Ashley, Buckingham, Arlington, and Lauderdale? A clique of intriguers. Are they back? Where? Uh, his incapacity is not permanent. He knows a cabal when he hears it. Are you awake, sir? Do you know your name? Sister, I strongly recommend that this patient's vital signs be taken. You may be surprised by the result. Uh, his club's in ruins. He wouldn't risk his office. Home is where the heart is. He must mean he has something at his digs. I'd rather not get nicked for breaking and entering. I'll hardly be denied access to my own brother's flat. Do you imagine a senior minister's portal is more easily penetrable than Mrs. Hudson's door? As always, Watson, you make an excellent point. I'm armed to do battle with Matron, Doctor. I trust you will support me. At your service, Holmes. We shall secure Mycroft's effects or die in the attempt. When Stevenson wrote that there is nothing like a little judicious levity, he might have added, thank heaven. I'd rather that we didn't die in trying to solve this case. Have you made anything of Mycroft's speech, Watson? No. I wish I'd read Freud's recent work more closely. Or perhaps the neurologists would be more informative. He can talk in symbols and anagrams and riddles, but conventional speech seems impossible. Were we not desperate for information, it would be entirely fascinating. But as we are desperate, it is aggravating. We must be inventive. Can you repeat what my brother has said since you've been on duty? I'm no eavesdropper. He uses mostly big words. And his language has not been of the highest quality. I've brushed more than once. We've already been inside. We don't need to go back just now. 
As a courtesy matron, I inform you that we are going inside. Given your reprehensible behaviour, Mr. Holmes, I don't think so. Were I to inform the director that you left a patient untended for hours and exposed him to a contagious virus, she is sure to take a very dim view of your performance. You have been negligent, matron, and you have violated your own precious hospital policy. The patient required no special treatment. He was admitted with a minor head injury. That's as may be, but his fall resulted from his sickness. He is critically ill with a respiratory ailment. Exposure to flu could kill him. Shall we keep your oversight among ourselves? Yes. Please be more careful in future. Please retrieve my brother's effects, matron, immediately. I'll take up your behavior with the director, Mr. Holmes. Your ruse has violated the essence of hospital policy. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought that was going to be automatic. Matron, this receipt is in order. Spare me the lecture and produce the effects. I know to the day age has not improved your intractable character. Allegations of theft or misappropriation would not serve the hospital. I'll <laughs> sign for the key ring. You may keep the wallet and other items. This is another one of those areas where you need to pretty much poke as much as you can to trigger certain conversations and events. But then again, this is a game about deduction and observation, so it's to be expected, I suppose. Now let's take a minute to look around. Unseemly bulge. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot to look at and poke in this game, so I'm only going to keep it to the relevant people and objects, apart from some of the things we can dick around with. Because there are certain objects in this game where you can just poke it for the sake of poking it. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Wow, how rude. What is your name, if I might ask? Cullerin, sir. Bob Cullerin. How may I be of service? Mr. Mycroft Holmes is my brother, Cullerin. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if we waited for him upstairs. That would be out of order, sir. You are not expected, sir. Unexpected guests are not received by residents. It was worth a try. Colorin, I assure you I can be trusted upstairs. My brother summoned me. So you say. Have you not heard of Mr. Sherlock Holmes? He is our most famous detective. His cases are the talk of all London. I believe little of what I hear, sir, and nothing of what I read in the press. I should have identification which should entitle me to some consideration. Consideration, no. But if you can prove your relationship, perhaps an explanation is owing. Well, we do have a card. A card doesn't confirm identity, sir. It proves nothing except you've taken the trouble to have one made up. 
Perhaps a modest inducement of a monetary type would open the door. Bribes are not in my line. Now clear off before I get tisty. You are some sort of government official, I take it? In a manner of speaking, sir. I'll appreciate no more questions along those lines. Let's just say I'm charged with the welfare of the residents here and their possessions. Wait, I think I forgot to examine this plant. I see you have lately returned from South Africa. I might have done. You worked in the mines at least a year, but not for any of the usual reasons. How do you know? Is it my voice? I fool most people. I observed you, Colin, nothing more. I don't recognize the character at the door. Be circumspect. I'll follow your lead, Holmes. Suggestions, Watson? I wish I had one, Holmes. I'm sorry. The brilliance of Pell-Mell makes me feel duller than usual. There is something particular about that driver, Watson. You carry suspicion to excess, Holmes. He looks ordinary enough. Though his tailor is a good bit more skillful than mine. Unless I'm mistaken, he has a pistol in his pants. There are brigands everywhere these days. But not on Pell-Mell, Doctor. Look him over, please. His posture is familiar. Okay, well... In England, pants means underwear. And we call... What America's called pants, we call trousers. So, technically, right now, Watson is rooting around in this guy's underwear to find a weapon. But let's not read too much into that. <laughs> that was quick. Okay, to progress further, we need to show him these keys. Very interesting. Could we go in now, Colorin? Wow! How did you come by the keys? Your welfare depends on your answer. There is no need to manhandle me. Are you a villain? No. Now make me believe that you aren't. Have you learned anything of significance, Watson? Perhaps. The driver resembles one of Lestrade's lackeys from years ago. Party named Tallboy. That's right. I remember him now. So he looked in Tallboy's pants for a weapon. Do you know my brother was injured in the Diogenes explosion? You've got my attention. We took him to Bart. I got his keys from there. I'm not at liberty to say more. If you don't, you may be without liberty, period. That sounded distinctly like a threat. As you like. My brother summoned me, Colorin, but the explosion struck him down before we met. I'm trying to discover the reason for his rare summons. He is currently unable to speak cogently. A more straightforward approach might have served you better. I'm still not certain who you are. Constable Tallboy, isn't it? Could I have a moment of your time? Yes, Mr. Holmes, though I'm no longer with the force. Would you be so kind as to vouch for my bona fides to Mr. Colloran? I wouldn't mind. These two is all right, Colloran. It's Mr. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Done more than one good turn for me when I was with the CID. Thank you, tall boy. Still at your appointed post, tall boy? Now and always, Miss Rose. It's good work, but not much of it. My clients prefer to walk. Please ensure we are not disturbed while we are upstairs, Colloran. Depend on it, Mr. Holmes. There's a few things that we can poke around in this room. Oh, 
Oh, it's only a Rembrandt that we've manhandled. It's fine. Only two things of relevance in this room are the bookcase and the Bible. We can't really do a lot with them at the moment. But they may, well the bookcase may come into play a bit later on. Certainly you can live without a duplicate Bible. Quite right, Watson. I'm floundering, not as sharp as I might be. place that has known him will know him no more. Oh, Watson, the psalm is too apt. Think no more of it, Holmes. Mycroft will recover, I'm sure. He that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Too true, Watson. The author of Ecclesiastes was not speaking of you, I think. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fine woman who is without discretion. Proverbial wisdom has its limitations, Holmes. Render therefore to all their dues. I fully intend to, Watson. I fully intend it. I know that tone, Holmes. I'm not sure Paul was referring to revenge. John rightly instructs us, Watson, judge not according to the appearance, and a bit further on, the truth shall make you free. Beautifully translated, Holmes, and edifying, but they don't seem to be moving us forward. The place that has known him will know him no more. Oh, Watson, the psalm is too apt. Think no more of it, Holmes. Mycroft will recover, I'm sure. Okay, that's enough of that. Can you deduce a man's character from his furnishings, Watson? Domestic fixtures cannot define a complex personality, but certain traits may be inferred from them. Hmm, Mycroft appears fastidious intellectually rigorous and intensely private. You never disappoint. Add willful, secretive and lethargic to that list and you have a serviceable thumbnail sketch. This room has exhausted my imagination. Shall we move on? As you wish, Holmes. 
But from what I know of your brother, I would counsel patience. Faultless advice, but that commodity is currently in short supply. Assume Mycroft has written something for my eyes only. Where might he conceal it? Mm, an office diary. Letters at his club? Mm, too public, too little control, insufficient access. Well, here then, in a portable notebook or journal. A fair guess, were he not pathologically thrifty and compulsively secretive. To him a common notebook would be an extravagance. Were he so inclined, he could write a novella in his minuscule hand in cipher on an envelope, preferably used. Have you spied anything of significance, Watson? No. But how did you know that Colerin had recently come from South Africa? I noted three items, Doctor. He speaks with the Utlander inflection, but he is British. His uncalloused hands have been browned by the spring sun, so he worked outside but not in the diggings, and his well-tended agapanthus has not endured a London winter. Hmm. <laughs> it seems simple when you say it. I'd be annoyed were I not impressed. Now, in this room, there is a gate, well, a doorway to another room. And you would be forgiven for not seeing it, because this is one of the criminal things in some adventure games. When you actually have an exit to which you can't exactly see where it is. So, it's not here. And there's no, uh, and there's no, oh, there we are. As you can see, there is actually no doorway here. I guess you could probably find it by accident, but yeah, this is one of the criminal things about some adventure games, is these kind of exits here. Because if you miss this room, then you're going to miss some vital evidence and information. And a spinny globe. Wanted to do that for years, Watson. When it was in his study, Father forbade us from playing with the Earth, as he said. Now, as you can probably guess from the change in music, this is an important piece of paper. Oh, is that a Q or an O? Oh, it's, it's more like a Q. But if you can work out what it says from here, good luck. This is promising. Mycroft has devised a message for me. Indeed, but what does it say? What it says is obvious, Doctor. The question is, what does it mean? And now this is going to be a bit of a pixel hunt. I'll have to check this out in full screen. But there is another important piece of evidence just here. And I think it is there. Were we anywhere else, colourless ink might surprise me.
If you require refreshment, Holmes, let us retreat to 221B. Mrs. Hudson can prepare something more suitable. I'm nourishing my brain, Watson, not my stomach. I believe Mycroft has been experimenting with rice water. While it's not relevant to the case, it's always important to, important to stay hydrated. Ooh. Can you deduce a man's character from his furnishings, Watson? Well, domestic fixtures cannot define a complex personality, but certain traits may be inferred from them. Mycroft appears fastidious, intellectually rigorous, and intensely private. You never disappoint. Add willful, secretive, and lethargic to that list, and you have a serviceable thumbnail sketch. Give me your impressions, please. A charming room, but nothing obvious or suggestive for the matter at hand. Presuming we know what that is, remember this. Mycroft is a cautious man and immoderately clever at times. His character will guide us. What captures your attention, Watson? Mycroft appears to work in his bedroom. Does he never rest? By nature, he's a slug. But when he's on the Queen's shilling, his relentless toil is the stuff of legend in Whitehall. The precautions Mycroft has taken are suggestive, are they not? If I completely understood what you were referring to, I'm sure I would agree, Holmes, as it is. I might have to take a headache powder. Mycroft has over-exercised his ingenuity to my detriment. Now you are talking in riddles. It's a most exasperating family trait. Persevere, Doctor. We know how he concealed his thoughts. We shall have to find the what and why of it elsewhere. Oh, you will certainly drive me to distraction if you continue to talk in that elliptical fashion. I'm faltering, wasting precious time. Perhaps Mycroft is now more lucid. Whatever you say, Holmes. Bart's is not too far away. I am not hopeful. Okay, let's get out of here. Pleased to have seen you, Mr. Holmes. My best to your brother. What a nice guy. <laughs> 